recording has been started One, two, three, four. Okay, four students have recorded their attendance over here. What about other guys? Okay, so guys, uh, we will start. Is my screen visible to all of you? Okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, so guys, here we go for the textbook. Lesson number four, that is the economic development, all right. So guys, in the economic development, we have completed mixed economy in detail, okay, till okay up to this right we studied what we are going to see in this chapter we studied what was the condition for we was independent nation after independence why our prime minister chose to have a mixed type of economy okay over capitalist economy and the socialist economy why well, they did not choose capitalist and the socialist only but the mixture of it that is the mixed economy it will have the features of capitalist economy as well as socialist economy so their thinking was it uh, this will help us to take the people out of the poverty because it has some things of uh, socialist economy and also they thought that with the capitalist economy, we can have proper industrial infrastructure in our country to need our sorry to meet our needs. All right. So this was the motive behind taking the mixed type of economy. After that, we studied that what are different parts of the mixed economy. First one is the public sector. Public sector means it is one of the socialist type. Everything is owned by the government by the name of people Lokancha Nawakali everything is given by the uh, owned by the public I mean the uh, government all right state second comes to the private sector so basically there are private players too in it okay and uh, private players can start their own businesses over there in the country and third one was the joint sector so it will comprise of Industries owned by a private industrialist, while some are run under the government management, right? So this is the case with the mixed type economy and its three parts, all right? After that, we studied that what is important for the mixed type of economy to run it smoothly. There should be a proper coordination between private sector and public sector because after all, mixed type economy is consists of private and public sector. It is a mixture of that. The system aims at a maximization of production and popular participation on the large scale. All right. So all these things we have studied a mixed economy also naturally tends to priority to national interest. All right. Thus India adopted the mixed economy model and the fire plans to start off on its path of development. Okay. Okay, this is how India adopted, India chose the mixed economy model and also along with that five-year plan to start off. It means to start our journey towards the development. We adopted mixed type economy and after that five-year plan so that we can plan for five years what we can do in the next five years or what we have to do in the next five years, setting their goals and uh, stepping towards that goals okay all right so this five year plan was first announced by the 
planning commission all right it was done by the planning commission in the india all right so till this point we have seen in the last lecture okay hello am audible is my voice too low or it is okay okay all right so friends now we will see what are uh, different five year plans that were set by our governments at different stage we know in 1951 elections were conducted in our country for the first time all right after for the next five year some plan was set up or announced from 1951 to 1955 all right after that 1956 to 1960 61 to 65 likewise that there are some changes in that also we will see that okay so are you ready for it it will create confusion okay in between you but uh, there are many 9 to 10 fire plans and what are different what were the different objectives of each plan each fire plans it will be very harassment okay for you to remember so multiple revisions is very important so that you will not mean confusion okay between these 8 to 9 fire plans what were their objectives which objectives we are meet fulfilled and which we are not meet okay to the target so here we go see let's start the colonial power has exploited india economically we all of you, uh, all of you know that british has looted india okay british has looted india so this is nothing but a british has meant colonial power they were ruling us and in that while they were ruling us they looted us enormously they exploited us economically all right the country faced severe problems like poverty unemployment population growth low standards of living low productivity of agriculture and industries and backwardness in the field of knowledge science and technology all right so what are different problems that we india was facing okay wait uh, when britishers were ruling us first one was poverty poverty was everywhere in the country all right next one is unemployment people were not having jobs okay because indians were like a slave for the britishers britishians jo british log the okay unke hisab se indian jo people hai indian log hai wo kya the wo ek gulam the okay ek ek prakar ke slave the right also population growth was very high in the period british did, uh, did not look upon that low standards of living all obviously okay as there was poverty as there was an unemployment there was very huge population it led it results into low standards of living people do not get everything what they need for living also low productivity of agriculture and industries okay whatever the agriculture sector was in india at that time what industry sector was that time okay so it was not working with high efficiency or high productivity also backwardness in the field of knowledge and science and technology india couldn't make progress in the field of knowledge in the field of science and technology okay planning was essential to solve these problems so this was the condition of india when we get it from the britishers okay british logon ke jo angrez log the un unhone hame jo jo bharat sofa 
ओके उस भारत की कंडीशन ये थी पॉवर्टी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ लो स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग लो प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्रीज बैकवर्डनेस इन द फील्ड ऑफ नॉलेज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट वॉज इसल planning to solve these problems we are very essential for our governments at that time after the independence all right so did you understand this how british has exploited indian people and how they made the condition of indian people okay poor people unemployed people very high population like was that okay so not very difficult to understand it here the next topic so what was important planning was essential to solve this problems that were left by british for our india so india established the planning commission in 1950s with prime minister pandit jawahar lal nehru as its chairman okay so we have just seen to get rid of this plans uh, these uh, problems solve this problem planning was very important and who can plan for india okay there must be some people okay expert people who can think for our people our country and plan according to okay for the development for the same purpose the planning commission was established in 1950s okay with prime minister pandit nehru as a chairman of this planning commission so its work was to plan make the plan announce the plan for india for the next 5 years so that we can step towards that particular aim or that objective of that particular plan okay and that was the development it formulated india's five year plans that included a rural and agriculture development balanced industrialization provision of a minimum standards of living and economic development consistent with democratic ideals okay so it formulated india's five year plans that included rural agriculture development so what was in the five year plan okay how this five year plans were formulated right so this five five year plans was formulated such as the rural and agriculture development was included in that plan okay so they we were going to set the target okay for high productivity of rural and agricultural development okay balanced industrialization in india okay so this was also one of the obje- objective while formulating five year plan for india all right so these things we are taken into account while formulating next five year plan for india also provision for a minimum standards of living we know in the british rule the standard of living of people of indian people okay was very low so to improve it we set a minimum standard of living okay for the people and we we are going to develop our country so that everyone will get the minimum standard of living also economic development consistent with democratic ideals okay so from initial state we we are a democratic country we are a democratic country we are a democratic nation okay so there are some ideals for this democratic ruled country okay in the democracy so economic development should also be likewise uh, it should follow all the things that are important for the democracy all right so see here for the five year plans of india what we are the different things that are taken into account rural agriculture development balanced industrialization provision for a minimum standard of living and economic development okay it focused on people's participation and individual development in the formulation and implementation of the five year plans okay so what was the focus in of this five year plans so the focus was on the people's participation in this okay 
if people starts to participate in this they will become individually develop they will develop individually it means if every person in the country develops themselves okay and all the resources different resources are for provided by the government then it is very easy for a country to be developed okay but uh, you know that nothing everything has a dark side okay it focused on people's participation <laughs> individual development in the formulation and implementation of the fire plan all right so this is all about the planning commission what was its objective which were different fields that were taken into account okay so that we can develop this field this sectors and people can develop them individually by increasing their standard of living okay so do you understand it friends okay anybody having any doubt here okay all right everybody so we will take the next topic now see here now okay so fundamental principle of planning now see we know what are the problems in front of india okay we need planning to solve these problems okay for the planning we have planning commission now see what are the fundamentals for what were the fundamental principles of the planning for india okay so let's see it a general principle of planning is proportionate distribution of resources of a country and the appropriate use of human resources to fulfill the needs of the people okay so whenever we are going to plan for our country means we are going to plan for our people okay so whatever property in our country has i mean the, all the resources that our country have it should be distributed evenly and uniformly okay in the country proportionately distribution is very important it means it should reach to the needy people it is called as the proportional distribution okay if there is some region which is underdeveloped okay so we have to give proper proportion proper we can say uh, yes uh, yes proper proportion of that our wealth of our country or the property or the resource of our country it is a pro proportional distribution of the resources of a country and appropriate use of human resources and also to make our people educated literate and so that we can use them as a human resource okay to fulfill the needs of our people so that they can work in industries they can work in schools colleges okay in the government offices and they can contribute to the indian government or our country all right so now see now we have seen that we we are going to set the fire plans or the planning for next some years five years for example so what were the goals of this planning of this planning commission okay so let's see one by one the general goal of the economic planning of india are as follows okay so you can see different goals objective target aim of our economic planning is listed over here okay listed so one by one we will see to increase in national income okay so what who is the general goal what is the target what is our goal behind this economic planning is increase in the national income we know that we give taxes to our government government have different ways to collect the revenues and the same revenues are being used for proper development of the people of this country okay so the goal of this planning was to increase in national income how we can increase the national income okay 
so the second goal is about bring about rapid industrialization by focusing on basic industries we have to bring out the rapid industrialization with a boom okay we have to industrialize our country very fast okay so this is the goal of economic planning okay and how we can do it by focusing on rapid industries uh, sorry basic industries in our country okay there are some basic industries in the country okay so by giving proper focus on them by giving proper attention to them we can bring a rapid industrialization in our country so this was the goal of economic planning so third one is the bring about an increase in agriculture production so that the country becomes self sufficient in food grains production okay so we have to increase our agricultural production productivity so that we will have enough food grains okay so that people will not starve out of the food okay all right so can anybody tell me that are we successful in bringing out agriculture production hello is our country successful in becoming self reliant for food grains yes okay so how did it started anybody knows it it starts with the green revolution i think all of you know what is green revolution is harita kranti okay so this green revolution in india it made our country self reliant in the field of food grain all right so it's a good thing to you know it already okay so so the next uh, the fourth goal of economic planning is use the human resource in the country optimally by making increasing employment opportunities available okay what it is whatever the mankind whatever the human resource we have guys we know that we always say that we are a young nation okay we are a young country okay we younger than the world why we so say this because we have a uh, we can say huge workforce okay in our country we have many people who can work for our country okay it is our human resource it is one type of resource people of the country are one type of resource for that country okay so by making literate these people giving proper training giving proper attention this human resource can be used optimally it means with good efficiency with good productivity okay so by making increasing employment opportunities available okay so how can we use this by creating employment opportunities for them okay if they will work in companies yeah, if we have with they have their own businesses their companies okay they will create revenue for our country and uh, this is going to help all our country okay so this was one of the goal of the planning uh, of economic plan for our country so the next one is the remove the inequality in earnings and the wealth okay it means we have to make such a situation in our country that people can earn as much as possible for fulfill their needs okay and whatever the inequality is there okay in the earnings some people earn only 100 rupees a day but there are some people who earns 1 lakh a day okay so we have to remove this inequality inequality okay and also there is a very high inequality in a wealth distribution in our country okay almost 90% of our wealth of our country is in the 10% of the people in the country in the population okay matlab हमारे देश की जो 90 परसेंट संपत्ति है ओके सो इट इज कंट्रोल बाय ओनली 10 परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल ओके इट इज अ रफ एस्टिमेशन आई एम गिविंग यू 
it is not exactly like that all right so this is the goal that we have to remove inequality in earnings and the wealth next one is maintain stable prices of commodities so guys we know that we always buy something we have to buy something okay for our survival for our needs we always buy something so the commodities that we that are essential that we need one of the goal of our planning economic planning is we have to maintain the stable prices of these commodities essential commodities that are very important for the people for their living okay so koi bhi cheez agar bahut zyada mehangi ho jati hai desh mein so it affects the people of our country okay so we have to plan economic plan Uh, in a such a manner that the uh, prices of this commodities will maintain properly stable okay next one is bring the growth in population under control by the family plan so we know that our population is growing very fast so we have to control this growth of the population by family planning and this is also one of the goal of our economic planning okay we consider it that we have very huge or enormous population and to fulfill the dreams of everyone to fulfill the need of every people with such a enormous population with 140 crore people it is very very difficult for any government okay who is running the country okay it is very very difficult to fulfill the need of this uh, 140 crore of people so planning family planning is very important and with the help of family planning we can control this growth of the population all right so the next one is improve the standards of living by eradicating poverty so by removing the poverty out from the country to take the people out of the poverty from the in the country we have to improve their standard of living okay there must be a minimum standard of living for every person every citizen in a country so we have to make the situation in our country such a that they can live with the standards of living proper standard of living next one is social develop social services okay we have to develop such a society where we can have proper services in a social services okay in the uh, society okay uh, social services we can say okay msrtc all of you know msrtc ओके okay. हमारा जो बस जो चलती है ओके okay. महामंडल बस अपन मन तो चला ओके सो इट इज वन ऑफ द सोशल सर्विस बाय द गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज इट हैज वेरी लेस फेयर टिकट जो होते हैं वो कम होते हैं अगर गवर्नमेंट इसमें लॉस में भी होगी तरी फिर भी गवर्नमेंट इसको चलाएगी ओके यू नो ऑल्सो गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग द wheat rice to the people okay uh, in 2 rupees kilo 3 rupees kilo okay likewise this so this is also through the ration card right all of you know for ration card so this is also one of the social service so uh, one of the objective one of the goal of setting a economic planning is to develop social services for the people all right okay next one is make the economy self sufficient okay make in india okay atmanirbhar bharat self reliant india to 10th number ka matlab kya hai atmanirbhar bharat self sufficient self reliant okay we have to make the things that we need in our country only all right so we don't have to buy 
we don't have to import too much for our country so this is the goal of economic planning and that our government is currently doing make in india okay pi pli scheme over there okay production linked incentive scheme is there uh after that what is it atmanirbhar bharat is there so these are the this is nothing but the economic planning all these slogans all these schemes that government is launching currently modi government okay so indian government okay so it is the part of economic planning so this is the aim this is the goal for any government okay so this was all about the goals of the planning or uh, goals of the plan so this has been happening from our independence okay from the first five year plan all these things are taken into consideration that we have to generate the employment we have to uh, improve the life of uh, stand, uh, standard of living of the people self reliance yeah, self reliant in the full grains like this all right so got it hello okay i hope all of you got it and uh, still if anybody is here who don't understand i'm always here to help you out right is there anybody who did not understand or they have any issue any doubt regarding this topic i hope i'm audible properly to all of you yes want to ask anything more guides yes there are almost six people three have responded what about vedant kadambari okay all right so it means you have got it not so difficult you might have thinking that why this is very simple topic and you are asking me do you have doubt do you have doubt it have right so are you got bored okay i hope my voice is clear to everyone okay can i verify uh just now we have seen that goals of the plans okay what we are the goals of the plans plans means this fire plans which is still going on okay now we have replaced uh, planning commission by niti ayog right have you heard about niti ayog have you guys okay kadambari has heard about it niti ayog right okay so basically before niti ayog there was a planning commission it means till 2014 okay when the central government modi government bjp government came into uh, power okay so there was a planning commission then they have made some changes some improvement in that and now it is called as a niti ayog now niti ayog decides five year plans for india all right okay guys so we have just gone through the goals of the plans okay this is very important why we are doing all this so now first five year plan that was from 1951 to 1956 okay so is it visible to all of you my textbook first five year plan that is from 1951 to 1956 five years okay so let's see guys we already know that is there is a uh, government collect the tax uh, tax from people okay government collects tax from the people and it is the income of our government okay it is the 
income of our government so government decides on which things we have to expend expend okay money okay or we have to uh, give money in which sector okay so basically for example think that uh, there was a revenue for the government of 100 rupees in 1951 to 1956 so government decided that the expenditure in this plan was primarily on agriculture social development irrigation and food control okay so what was the primary uh, expenditure okay in this five year plan that is government decided that we will utilize our money to improve the agriculture field we can improve social development and for the agriculture irrigation is very important so for the irrigation and food control it is very important to spend money over there sources of energy is very important as coal natural gas uh, crude oil is there uh, renewable sources are there okay so this is very important so government wanted to spend money in this field also heavy industries and minerals is there rural and small industries is there transport and communication education and health okay so these were some fields where government decided to spend their revenue all right what are these fields agriculture social development irrigation and food flood control uh, sources of energy for our country resources rural and small industries in our country heavy industries and minerals that are important for any economy transport and communication in india education and health of indian people so these were some fields where government was deciding to spend its money expenditure in this primary fields all right so this was done in the first five year plan that is from 1951 to 1956 okay so this was the goal or this was these were the sectors fields in which government decided to spend money so that social development will be there uh, there will be improvement in transport and health facilities for our people so that there will be improvement in agriculture production irrigation system in india flood control in india okay small and rural industries over there mineral over there energy sources over there okay so we can make the changes over there okay so got it <laughs> okay so this was the first five year plan okay this is nothing but the planning of our government at that time that uh, in this five year we will improve that uh, sectors okay that we have just discussed want to ask anything more okay all right so here comes the next five year plan that is second five year plan so it has start from 1956 to uh, 1961 five year okay okay so the second five year plan had ambitious goals for industrialization now see in the first five year plan government was giving attention to every field so that because we know that britishers left us with nothing okay they left us with nothing we did not have anything we were having many problems so in the first five year plans government was giving attention in every field but now see the major attention in the second five year plan was in the industrialization okay so the ambition pl ambitious plan ambitious goal was uh, for the industrialization in our country so iron and steel industries at durgapur bhilai and rurkela chemical fertilizers plant at sindri rail engine factory at chitranjan factory of railway bogies at perambur 
ship building factories at Vishakhapatana and other heavy industries were set up in the public sector, right? So these are industries we are set up by Indian government so that <clears throat> industrialization can be taken place in our country. So government was spending its money, its income, its revenue in the industrialization to set up a chemical fertilizer company in different fields uh, at uh, sea. Here is a list of everything. So you just have to go, go through it. Iron and steel industry in the Durgapur. I think Durgapur is in uh, West Bengal or it is in Jharkhand or in uh, Odisha. Okay, I don't know perfectly. Exactly, I don't know. Okay, but it can be there only. Because there is a coal mining, there is a, a we can say, ores of uh, iron ore over there. Okay. So the next different, see, rail engine factory at Chitranjan. It is in the West Bengal. Okay. Factory of railways bogies at Perambur. Perambur, I don't know. I think it is also in, uh, maybe it is in Bengal. Uh, shipbuilding factory to Vishakapitnam. So it is in Andhra Pradesh. Other heavy industries were set up in the public sector. Public sector means it is a government company. For exactly. Okay. It is a government company. It means people of this country own the, that country, uh, that particular factory. Okay, so we have given every rights to our government because we elect that government and that government manages this public sector company. That's why it is called as public sector. Huge dams like Vakranangal, Damodar Sarovar is there. Okay, so these we are built to make water available for agriculture. Okay, so I think you have gone through this name that is Vakranangal and Damodar. Okay, so these were dams, huge dams. They were built so that we can store water for the agriculture and we can uh, irrigate our fields through the col uh, colonies, okay? Cal canals, right? Through the canals. So, it led to increase in the national income. Now see, basically these plans are somewhat working, not perfectly working. Now everything is going as per the plan, you know. There is nothing perfect in this world, or nothing as per uh, nothing goes as per the planning. Even our government has these plans, but it's uh, it is working somewhat. That's why it increased. It resulted into increase in national income. Okay, you can see one pictorial over here. That is the steel plant. It is not uh, actually it is, but it is just a picture over there. Representative. All right. So this was the plan for second five year of India. All right. From 1956 to 1961. All right, guys. Is it clear to everyone? Now see one by one, one by one, five year plans are coming. Okay. And you might get confused uh, in which five year plan, what was the main objective of India, uh, which were different fields that government wanted to spend. Okay, guys, is it clear? Okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, so second fire run plan we have completed. Okay, guys, so now we will just go through the third fire fire plan. After that, we will stop. Why? Because it will just create a mess in your head. Okay. आपके दिमाग में सिर्फ एक प्रकार का बहुत ज़्यादा what we can say chaos chaos बन जाएगा okay so now we will just see the third fire plan so the uh, third fire plan is for uh, next fire from the 1961 to 1966 guys see in this next fire plan in 1962 we fought a war against China sino indian war in 1965 we fought war against the pakistan okay so now see in this five year plan or in this uh, five years from 1961 to 1966 india fought two wars and you know to fought a war is a very 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 costly for any country okay it cost a lot to a country 
whatever the basic uh, savings of the country whatever the income of our country everything goes in the war to fought against the enemy all right so now see what was the goal of this plan so this plan was aimed at bringing about a balance in industries and the agriculture guys you know steel agriculture is one of the sector in the country who has employed 50 to 60% of the people of our country matlab kya hai hamare desh ke agar population 100 hai for example to usme se 60 log aaj bhi agriculture field mein kaam karte hai okay unka earning unki jo income ka source hai wo agriculture field se hota hai so see here so in the say, third fire plan uh, indian government uh, tried to bring about a balance in the agriculture field as well as industrial field it means we have to make a connection between agriculture field we have to make the balance between agriculture field and industrial field it means by improving by developing the industrial field we can employ more people okay in the industrial field and so that uh, less people will work in the agriculture field and the load on the agriculture sector will reduce okay the other goal of the plan included increase in the national interest okay so what was the next plan next goal was to increase national income to increase the revenue to increase the tax collection or to increase the income sources for our country okay the other five year plan other uh, goal for the plan third year plan included increase in national income heavy industries development in transport and mineral industry okay elevation of poverty and to expand the opportunity for employment got it so the first major plan was to make the balance between industrialization and the agriculture field other some goals we are to increase national income to eradicate poverty okay to remove poverty to uh, develop the heavy industry field and also to develop the in transportation in india and the mineral industry in india okay so by giving the opportunity by creating different employment opportunities by creating jobs in our country people can work there and the poverty can be uh, can be removed from our country okay Eradic we can re eradicate the poverty from our country okay so to expand the opportunities for employment for our people so that they can work they can earn and they can improve their standard of living they can come out of the poverty they can increase over their income so this was the uh, goal for third five third year five year third five year okay after the third five year plan three uh, one year plan we are implemented okay so guys see we know till now that uh, there was five, three five year plan what were this five year three year five year plans first five year plan was 51 to 56 second one was 56 to 61 third was from 50 uh, 1961 to 1966 okay now fourth five year plan was not a five year plan okay next five year plan next uh, three years we set our plan for only one year okay initially what we were doing pehle hum kya karte the 5 saal ke liye plan set karte the 5 saal ke liye hum goal set karte the lekin wo kab tak kiya humne 1966 tak kiya humne uske baad ke jo 3 saal hai uh, 1967 1968 and 1969 ye jo 3 saal hai uske liye hum kya ne kya kiya हर एक साल के लिए अलग अलग प्लान हमने सेट किए सो दिस इज आफ्टर द थर्ड फाइव ईयर प्लान थ्री वन ईयर प्लान इंप्लीमेंटेड हमने वन ईयर प्लान डिसाइड किए कब तक तीन साल के लिए ओके सो व्हाट वाज द टाइम 1966 टू 1969, ओके दिस वाज अ पीरियड ऑफ इंटेंस फार्मिंग इन इंडिया इन इंडिया ओके सो इन दिस पीरियड देर वॉज इंटेंस फार्मिंग 
there is a drought throughout the country due to the invasion by china and war with pakistan the government had to focus on defense rather than development related task guys as i told you that in this period we fought two wars and government has to use their money their income their revenue towards the defense field towards our security of our country and that's why government cannot give money for our development okay government has to spend in the defense rather than development related task because of this war also the famine required the government to undertake measures to tackle the efforts of famine also because of the famine now see there are three calamities over there two wars and one national calamity that is a famine and what a government can do government first of all spend his money its money on the uh, fighting war next there was a famine so to tackle the famine to uh, overcome this famine government has to take some steps okay so government take some measures some step some solutions to fought against this famine all these issues stressed the indian economy so because of all these things our economy had some great setback okay our economy affected great greatly okay it means we almost have nothing left okay in this time all right so this is all about the third five year plan so guys just now we have seen third five year plan all right you got it hello am i audible Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay. So, is there anybody who is having any doubt here? Okay. I hope you have got uh, everything. Whatever we have learned today, whatever we have discussed today. All right. So, guys. Uh, Uh, i think uh, we are done for today and uh, if you have any problem in this you do ask me okay i'll be always there for your help and uh, i request you to go through the topic that we have completed okay your revision is very important unless only one sided efforts will not work out okay it will not work for you as well as for me i need result you need result okay from you so revision is very important so uh my uh advice to you always is to revise it twice thrice okay so guys now i hope uh, it was excellent lecture today and uh, uh now we can conclude the class okay all right so good night good bye you can leave the class okay all right vishal thank you ayush okay bye bye kadambri all right good good to see you